Welcome to UK Business Show, UK's premier business show where we feature business thought leaders, high achievers, and industry experts. Today's episode is brought to you by World Outsourcing Solutions Limited, a company that specializes in helping executive business owners with virtual assistant services and business growth systems. Here's your host, UK Kachidori. Excellent. Welcome back to another very special episode. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm truly, truly excited about the guests we have on the show because we're going to be talking about podcasting. We've been doing this, as you know, since 2015, now several years on, and we're still doing it. And we don't have any plan to slow down. The reason for this is because we truly believe podcasting is the way to create an, an unstoppable amount of traffic to your website, to the services that you offer, and many other things. In fact, my guest here today has been podcasting for over 10 years uh, today, and we'll be able to share with you what is working right now. Kelly Smith, thank you so much for joining us here on the show. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, Yukai. I'm thrilled to be here with you. Beautiful. Now, before we jump into talking about podcasting as a whole, uh, I know you had some life changing moments in your journey as a podcaster. Would you share with our audience here today? Absolutely. So this was like a changing moment within my business after I had been interviewing some sort of high profile guests on my show. And it really led to other guests reaching out to me, asking to be on my show. And it was kind of surprising because it'd be like, how did these people find me? They really want to be on my show. And I got to the point where I didn't have to reach out to guests. Most of the time, people were just finding me because having these other guests on my show was letting people know, oh, then she must be good. If these kinds of guests are on her show, if they want to be around her, then I should want to. Yes. And it was really a revelation to see the power of podcasting and the power of associating with other experts and influencers like that. And I'm sure that you've experienced that same thing, haven't you? Well, absolutely, absolutely. I remember when that happened to me, you know, way back in 2016, I had been probably ahead about 50 episodes in, and I interviewed, uh, you know, one of the founders of the Beanie Babies, you know, from, from there. And from that point on, the type of people that wanted to be on the show was just incredible. And I started getting the same respect like they did. I was a little nobody there uh, back then, uh, but it just opened doors to, you know, to a lot of things, you know, the partnership I started, you know, the new audience, uh, I could uh, sell more services. I now have got uh, a saying that podcast brings cash credibility and customers, you know, the three C's, it's because of exactly what you've talked about. Now, I know I haven't introduced you. Uh, let me just do that very briefly. Kelly is a marketing strategist, a host of the Marketing Chat podcast and the founder of the Women Podcast Academy. Uh, Kelly's mission is to help entrepreneurs like you create the successful business of your dreams through strategic marketing that establishes your authority in this space. So we are so thrilled to have uh, Kelly here to talk about what has worked in her business. Kelly, again, you thank you so much for being here on the show, uh, you know, on a busy day like this. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Happy to make time to be here. Awesome. Tell us, how did you start on this journey? So I started out in marketing as an entrepreneur in 1999. Right. And I just love marketing. I went to business school for a year, and that's when I started out in marketing. Though my background, I have a degree in biology. I also have a degree in communication. I have done website design, some graphic design. I'm also a professional artist on the side. <laughs> so I have skills in editing and uh, both audio and video editing, which has come in handy in podcasting, of course. <laughs> um so I recently moved more into podcast coaching and podcast teaching. I have a course and a community and wrote a book and um, 
So I, I just love teaching people how to podcast and yeah. I do it from the perspective of using podcasting to grow your business. So it's really using podcasting as a marketing tool, essentially. Yeah, amazing. Why podcast though? Because a lot of people say there's YouTube, there's a blog post, there's all these things going on. Why right. podcasting? So a blog lives on your website. That's how a blog gets found is when Google crawls your website and shows a blog post. Video is excellent because YouTube is one of the biggest search engines out there, along with, of course, Google, Amazon, and TikTok. So video is excellent. But a podcast lives on your website and on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, Amazon, Google, all the other podcasting platforms. And if you share video of your podcast, then it's also on YouTube. So podcast is in so many different places. It gives you so many opportunities to be found. So there are people who like to read. There are other people who like to watch a video and there are people who like to listen to a podcast. A podcast people can listen to while they're driving, while they're cooking, while they're cleaning, while they're doing anything. And a blog, you cannot be multitasking while you're reading. A video, you, you can kind of multitask, but you ha you're stuck to your computer or your phone screen. And with a podcast, you're not stuck to anything. I mean, you have to have the device there to be listening, but it could be your HomePod or your smart speaker across the room. You don't have to be staring at anything. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. You know, one of the things we've done with our podcast, we have money to, to, to extract in, uh, audio, video, and also writing, we transcribe our podcast yes. and put it in a nice blog. So you do, or you record your podcast once, and you've got all these assets that comes out of it yes. all in one sitting. So, you know, if you talk of working smart, a podcast can be one of those tools you can use in uh, working smart in making your business known. And one of the things you talk about is how to use podcasts as a strategic tool to get attention uh, from your ideal customers. Talk to us how you do that. Absolutely. So like you just said, using the podcast in those three ways. So creating the transcript, which you can put post on a blog, which I do having the audio and creating video from it. So when we're talking about marketing strategy, You've got uh, your audience, your ideal client who may want to consume your content in a variety of ways. So podcasting allows you first to reach a wider audience because you'll be able to reach them in that variety of ways. And second, it allows that other way to engage your audience. So maybe you already have a blog, but now you get to get those listeners who would rather listen. And then if you convert the, the audios into videos or go ahead and record video, like I'll do with my interviews, then you have that additional way as well to engage them with video. Yeah. So it's, it's really strategic. And then you can take the audio or the video and create audiograms or video clips, and you share those on social media. And you take snippets out of the podcast and you share those little bits. You've created content for an entire week. Right. So you're not wondering every day, what am I going to share on social media now? I'm going to have to come up with, you know, if you post every day during the during the work week, then that's five different things for the week mm -hmm. with a podcast. No, you're sharing little bits from the podcast. So you have your content done for you. Amazing. Absolutely the truth. I know this uh, firsthand. Uh, and you've had some amazing success over the years. In fact, one of your students uh, went on to do extremely well. Talk to us about, <laughs> about your students. Yes, I have this student, Corinne Gerhardt, who whose podcast she started uh, just a couple of months ago. And she, her podcast is called the Doodle Pro Podcast, and that's doodle as in the dog breed. Right. And that's what she does for her job. She teaches 
doodle owners to be better doodle parents and get their dogs to behave and how to groom them, things like that. So when she started her podcast, less than two weeks later, it had number three in the United States, and it is currently in the top 10 in seven or eight countries around the world. And she did this by being very strategic with how she launched it, how she promoted it ahead of time, and how she promotes it week by week. Yeah. I'm so proud of her. She's done such a good job. It's just amazing. I love hearing stories like this because it then uh, helps people to understand that you can start a podcast on any topic. Who would yes. have known that, uh, you know, there is a topic like you're talking about right here. So I know that some people say, oh, you know, what, what do I have to share with the world? Well, you have something. Mm -hmm. and. And if you go on Apple Podcasts or anywhere else, you find that there's different types of podcasts that you can uh, learn from. And also you can create your own as long as you can get your voice out there. Exactly. Everyone has a story and a message to share. Yes. And yeah, that is proof. There are people out there who want to listen to a podcast about the dog breed doodles. Yeah, and, awesome. and it's doing so well. And she gets referrals. She has breeders listening to it, groomers listening to it, and doodle owners listening to it. It's amazing, really. You know, uh, podcasting positions you as an expert. Because yes. uh, I often say this to, to my audience that, you know, who gets interviewed important people and who interviews others an important person and if you position yourself as an important person as an expert interviewing other experts uh you know sharing their knowledge or sharing their their mission you will begin to attract the right type of people i love podcasting let's talk about very briefly on this one you know uh what, you know, as a teacher, or as you help other people start podcasting, what is their number one blogs in starting a podcast? Oh, there are two, I yeah. think. One that you just mentioned, thinking they don't have anything to say or contribute. Yeah. And that's just not true. We all have something to say. And Maybe a podcast isn't right for everyone, but when you're a business owner, it often is a really good idea. You know, whatever you're doing in your business, you have expertise in that area that is valuable to other people to hear. Yes. So I strongly recommend considering podcasting, because it really does set you up as an authority in your field as that go to expert. And so that really is a number one block for people is thinking, no, I don't have anything to share. Nobody wants to hear from me. And the other block is people aren't sure what equipment to buy. I know that seems silly, but I, I hear that so often. Oh, I I don't understand the equipment. I wouldn't know where to get started. Yeah. And, and that one is easy. I mean, I, it can be overwhelming because there's so many options, but there's so many good options and it just comes down to making a decision. That's right. That's right. You know what I say to people oftentimes when they present me with blog, uh, blogs like that is, look, you may just need a coach, somebody yeah. or a mentor, somebody who's, gay, who's done it perhaps yes. uh, and say, look, it's not as complicated as it appears. Right. You just need somebody who will say, you can move from this point to the next point to the next point. Like one of, uh, like your, uh, your book, which you have released on Amazon, get a book, see how others are doing it and apply that, just apply that and be consistent. It's amazing what will come your way. Yes, and find someone you trust, whether that is, you know, don't Google endlessly. So pick someone, whether it is a coach or a book or one person's blog and listen to their recommendations and just do it. 
Nike is right about that. Just do it to make Absolutely. a decision. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. One of the things I find is that for those maybe who are ready to do it, uh, they oftentimes make mistakes. <laughs> uh, sometimes they don't even realize they are making mistakes. You know, in your journey helping people with podcasting, what are some of the mistakes you have seen people make mm -hmm. that perhaps slows them from getting to where they want to be, sometimes even stops them completely uh, after publishing up to 10 episodes <laughs> or less? Right. So one big mistake is not having a vision for their podcast, right. just not knowing where they want it to go, not knowing their big why for doing the podcast. And the big why really has to do with serving their ideal listener. You know, you have your ideal listener, I mean, your ideal client in your business with your podcast, you need an ideal listener. And we talked about yours before getting on to record. That's right. I have an ideal listener for my podcast. You need an ideal listener and you're keeping their needs in mind with every episode. And if you lose sight of that and what your big vision for your podcast is, it's easy to get stuck when it gets hard, when podcasting gets hard. So that big why is what the problem is that you're solving and, and it's, it's really altruistic. It's not, oh, I'm doing it to market my business so I can make more money, you know, make more, the, the cash, the, uh, you know, your three C's. That's right. That's not the big why to keep in mind. Those are your goals. Absolutely. That's part of your vision. But like the big why is I'm helping my ideal listener solve this problem. Your listener comes first. Absolutely. And I've discovered this, Kelly, is when you get it that way, when you start that way, you will not get burnout. out. In fact, you will continue working on it because you know that when people find this solution, their lives will be transformed. And like magic, as their life gets transformed, your business grows because you and I know this, that people do business with people they know, like, and trust. The more you help them and, uh, and you're in their lives, they get seeing some amazing results, the more they want to work with you. So yes. focus on serving your audience uh, truly is the key. Um, and uh, yeah, if you do it the other way, it will be a slow process, very painful right. process for that matter, because you and I know uh, podcasting is hard work. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yep. And you've been doing this, is that seven years now? Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 And yeah, you have kept your ideal listener or your listeners in general at the forefront of what you do. You really care about your listeners. And that's what makes this an excellent podcast. Absolutely. It keeps them coming back because there's so many options out there. If you right. don't serve them, they are going to go to someone else who is serving them. Really, right. you know, the people say there is competition out there. The main competition is within you. If you okay. can say, how well am I going to serve my audience today? you know compared to yesterday if you get better every single time it is amazing how you will attract better quality listeners people who take action you know and who see yeah. results and they want to be part of the community it truly is uh, is amazing uh, what you can do on that and perhaps you know uh, for those who have tried and failed uh, with podcasting in your experience uh other than what we've talked about, is there anything else they can do differently? Hmm. So I think that sometimes people fail because in addition to not having a clear vision, they didn't have a tight enough niche. Right. And we know from having a business that you need a tight niche in your business. And same thing with your podcast. So for your podcast niche, you need to know your ideal listener, what the theme of your podcast is, and it needs yes. to be yes. as narrow as possible while still giving you enough topics to talk about for as long as you plan on podcasting. You need to have the problem you're going to solve for your listener, you know, help them solve. And you need to know what makes you unique, what makes your podcast unique. 
And for that, I just suggest looking around at other podcasts, figure out their personality, their tone of voice, and what's going to make yours different from most of those. And that's your niche. And when you're clear on that, then you're starting to set yourself up for success because you need your podcast to stand out from all of the others out there. If you look out there, just keep digging. You know, the ones at the top of the ranks tend to stand out. They are different. They do have a tight niche. So dig deeper and you'll see that they start to blend in. So you need to see what's going to make you stand out from those so that you keep rising. Yeah. The interesting thing about what you've just said there, Kelly, is it is not that difficult. Mm -hmm. You know, if you take time, sit down, really do a bit of a research. If you, you know, if you want to get ahead faster, get that mentor, sit down with the mentor and say, look, here is what I feel called to do. This is the community I want to serve. What is the best way to do that? You do it maybe once at the beginning and then you refine it as you go and you begin to see the results coming back to you. It is worth every minute that you do. Uh, You know, I say to my audience and to my students that we teach that literally every single, every three months, we look at what is changing? What do our uh, audience need right now? And we perfect it and we give them what they need. Because they tell you that, you know, that Mm -hmm. uh, we we need to learn about this. We need help with this. And then you provide a guest to help you, to help them uh, in a way. So, you know, take time, you know, give attention to what your audience need and give them to, you know, what they need. They will, you know, make you money. They will help you uh, reach your goals as well. Absolutely. Yeah, it evolves. And you don't have to keep everything as it was on day one. It, it all will evolve and you need to be nimble with it about that. Absolutely, absolutely. We're coming toward the end of our time here, uh, Kelly, but uh, you, you help people start podcasting. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, what sort of mindset do you have to have or that you've seen seems to be a winning mindset for your students? Yeah. So determination and motivation are really key because it gets tough sometimes sooner than later. Like the average person who starts to podcast will give up after only seven to 10 episodes. And that just breaks my heart. That's, That's not giving it enough time. So the other piece of the mindset is patience, which you just mentioned a moment ago. You do have to have patience to give your podcast time to build up a following and to show you some success. It's like with a new website. It takes months for the website, I mean, even a year to rise in the ranks with search engine optimization. A podcast takes time too. Yeah, so yeah. put it, put in the effort, keep your momentum going and give it the time that it deserves. Absolutely. You deserve to keep going. Your voice needs to be heard. Your listeners are waiting to hear you. They yeah. need you. So Amazing. stick with it. Absolutely. Stick with it. I love the statistic that you've shared there for a moment that an average podcast pulls out seven to 10. It is the truth. And for entrepreneurs like me, that's good news. And I know you're listening. You are more like me. Uh, You know that if an average person does 10, maybe, if you can stick with it and have 20, have 40 or even 100, it means you're way above the average. A lot of people are giving up, which means there is more room for you to stand out. So that is good statistics there, there, you know, for you to build on rather than to be one of those 10, you know, people who uh, stops at episode 10, just keep going. And I can tell you, we've done uh, you know, we've got over uh, 450. We can't remember exactly where, where we are episodes uh, of interviews. Those are uh, individual interviews mm. we've done. Uh, I can tell you honestly that the benefits far outweigh the pain of doing uh, right in the beginning. In the beginning, it was difficult because nobody knew who I was mm-hmm. and nobody wanted to be on my show. I used to use a different stripe because I didn't know what to do. 
But now I've got a waiting list of three months. As a matter of fact, Kelly, I've started charging people to be on the show and the whole show is self-funding which is truly mm. is amazing, which means I don't have to put money into it at all from the editing, everything. It is funded by my guest that comes on it. So I get to uh, monetize my podcasting from mm -hmm. every angle you think of, from my customers, from my guests, from those who refer my services. So it becomes a profitable venture. So I'm saying this really perhaps to, to, to sell it to you, Bill. I know you're listening. <laughs> uh, that uh, just get started stick with it it will pay off and now i can even step aside kelly here's the thing but the podcast will keep on going because there are some amazing people who have come on board who are happy to interview on my behalf mm -hmm. simply because you know they've seen the results they've seen the longevity you know uh, and i'm getting some amazing people to come on this show mm -hmm. again it's not because i'm um, intelligent although i'd like to believe i am but, but it's simply because i've stayed the path and i've created something that is going to be there for a long time so you know uh, stay the path you know be one of those that excels goes beyond the 10 episodes out there that you know where people stops <laughs> yeah absolutely uh, so thank you for sharing that you know you have to be determined uh, right at the beginning because this is a strategic tool uh, it's not really tactical. Well, of course, there's some tactical aspect to it, but it is really strategic. I'm yes, saying. it absolutely is. And once you plan your strategy and put it into place, amazing things can happen. They absolutely do. Uh, final thoughts here. I know you've got a training uh, going. Where can people find the, the training? So they can find everything at AngelaKellySmith.com. I've always gone by my middle name, Kelly, but my first name is Angela. So AngelaKellySmith.com. I've got everything right there. Yes. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, final thoughts for those who are not yet convinced about podcasting. <laughs> what is that final push you can give them to, to get started? Consider, as we were talking about at the beginning, how wide reaching podcasting is, how you can get found on so many platforms, as opposed to just your website with a blog. And let's add on to that, how your personality comes through in a podcast. Imagine if someone is just reading the transcript of this episode and you couldn't tell our personalities through a yeah. transcript, yes. but listening to it, or, you know, if they can watch it, then you hear our personalities come through yes. and that builds the no like, and trust factor yeah. much more easily than reading it on a blog. So if the only option is a blog, that is better than nothing. There's nothing wrong with blogging. But a podcast lets your personality come through when you let it. So you have to let it. That's right. And that really in, engages people and gets them to know you and like you and trust you. Love that. Absolutely love that. While you were talking, I did something that maybe podcasters shouldn't be doing. But, you know, I started thinking about your program. Do you have maybe topics that you cover in your program that you would like people to sort of to, to, to know about and they can be looking forward to your program? Mm -hmm. So oh, at Marketing Chat Podcast? Yes. So I have some interviews coming out soon on becoming an effective speaker online. Um, I have a guest on uh, coming out in the next couple of weeks, also on podcasting, though they may have heard enough about that. Uh, I have one coming out soon on changes in consumer behavior. That one's particularly good. Yeah. Um, so topics all on marketing your business and changes in marketing and, and what's current right now. 
Yes, yes. Well, uh, Bill, I want you to go listen to these episodes because I've discovered that when you listen to people who are already doing this, you will actually get ahead. And uh, Kelly, thank you so much for sharing with us what's working for you and uh, what's working for some of your students, for all your students, really, those that actually implement what you talk about. Uh, and I do hope, in fact, I believe that my audience will be able to implement uh, what we've talked about here today. Thank you so much. I really appreciate being here. This is fabulous. Incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, I want to encourage you, take action. As Tony Robbins says, never leave a place of discovery without scheduling when you're going to be implementing what you've discovered. So I hope what you've discovered today, you have put it down on paper or you have put it somewhere where you will be able to remember and take action on it because it is only action that is going to change things. Podcast is great. Listening to podcasts is great. It's the beginning of the whole process. But what actually moves the needle is taking action. And I know you do. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, live well, live with passion. Know that the best is truly yet to come. And goodbye for now. Thank you for listening to Ukai Business Show. We will be back to bring you more episodes with success stories and advice straight from the experts. Want more? Check out www.ukaibusinessshow.com. Get your free trial of our virtual assistance service today. Just visit www.worldoutsourcingsolutions.com. Quote W O S 1 8 or send us an email at support at worldoutsourcingsolutions.com. 